Hey, Avi. Hello, Link. How are you? I'm great, thank you. I'm much better now that I'm speaking to you. Oh, well, thanks, man. Look, before we talk about the new show, I just wanted to say I really appreciate everything you've done these, this past you know, couple of uh, – uh, pretty much since my childhood. You have been a part of it, entertaining me with all the wonderful shows you've done. And I really want to say thanks. Well, thank you. I was, hope I was afraid you were going to say the past couple of centuries. <laughs> no, I would never say that. But, you know, thanks to the USA Network, I was able to watch all the classic shows, High Rollers, Tic-Tac-Toe obviously having a big impact. Love watching people play Beat the Dragon. Yeah, that was Tic-Tac-Toe, yeah. And uh, thank you so much. What a nice compliment, and I really, really appreciate it. So, and, and it's good to see you back. I mean, we haven't seen you host a game show in, in almost a decade here, and it's good to see you back on the air. I'm like a bad nickel, man. You just cannot get rid of me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, I'm always going to, don't you forget it, I am always going to be here for you. <laughs> and, and, and what, this game show is a bit different than the others. This one has it a is. sort of uh, a fun mentality, that, 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 you know, interactiveness to it. Th that is, Avi, it's very true. It, it is, it, it, in its utter simplicity, it's just terrific. It is a game show with two elements. We start with a hidden camera factor where we, uh, punk somebody, unbeknownst to them. Uh, we have an ensemble of actors who play this, this situation out, and there comes a time in the middle of it, uh, after a, hopefully a lot of laughs, uh, where I walk in with my Gene Rayburn long microphone stolen from Match Game, and I say, <laughs> you know what? You're on a game show. And by that time, they can't believe it. You know, Here's Wink Martindale with his host, uh, co-host walking in there, and and we do a game show right there where they've been punked. We take the set with us on location. So that makes it all different. I ask questions about what they just experienced, and the more money they, uh, the more questions they answer correctly, the more money and prizes they win. Essentially, that's instant recall, and we've had a ball doing it. What, in, uh, for you, what makes this show fun? What makes it exciting? Well, because it's immediate, it's right now, and it's, uh, there's always been something uh, about the home viewer, the person on the outside looking in, who had that inside. They know what's going on. And I think that's why shows like Punked on uh, MTV and other hidden camera, it, it's what made Candid Camera so popular back in the mm -hmm. beginning. And this is an offshoot of Candid Camera, let's face it. And uh, it's just, it's a slice of life. And that's why, that's why our show, I think, is so doggone good. People can relate to it. You know, game shows always have this sort of, you know, we see a giant trend coming, and then there are a lot of them, and they kind of go away, and then they come back, and then they go away, they come back. What is it about game shows that, that keeps in this medium, that, that stays in television, and still is, is still a strong force? Well, I'll tell you, Avi, game shows have always been around from the days of radio, and why are they still around today? People love to see other people win. They love to see people, uh, they put themselves on that, uh, on that stage. What would I do? What would I say if I were there? And once you get that in a game show, once you get that reaction, you've got them hooked. And that's one of the prerequisites of a, of a good game show, to get that home viewer on stage as if he or she were the contestant. So that's it's really not surprising then that shows like Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, and The Price is Right, never, they're still going strong after several, several years yeah, of being that, on the air. That part never changes. People want to... People want to want to see other people win. They want to see them be successful. And as a game show host, I love what I do because I, it's like I'm playing Santa Claus. Come on. <laughs> I'm giving away Game Show Network's money, and it ain't costing me a cent. And that, that is, is awesome. That fun is always good. Because you know what? They're loaded. They are loaded. <laughs> um, I, I'm torn between which of my favorite shows you hosted. It, it, it's a tie between Tic-Tac-Toe and... And the one that I think very few people remember, but I do, is Boggle. Oh, my gosh, Boggle. I yeah. remember watching Boggle and Trivial Pursuit on the Family Channel. Yeah, that was when uh, I was doing, I was producing those shows and hosting them at the same time with my partner, the late Bill Hilliard, who, oh, cool. who, who is the guy who uh, created PM Magazine for Westinghouse. And we became partners, and we did a whole bunch of shows for what used to be the Family Channel, owned by Pat Robertson. They were doing a midday section of shows, and it was all built around Trivial Pursuit, Boggle, and all these other shows. And um, that was in the early 1990s, and uh, it was really a fun time for me. 
was it easier to or harder to produce the shows as, as compared to hosting them? Well, as a producer, you learn uh, the ins and outs of why you don't want to be in this business. <laughs> it's hard to produce if you do it right. And uh, but it's I learned a lot about uh, how to produce a show, and I think it helped me in the hosting later, because uh, you learn you, you're sitting on both sides of the desk, and that that always helps. Wink, I got to go here soon. It's been I'm a not through, Bobby. What do you mean? You, what do you mean you got to go? I thought I we had 30 minutes here, man. Huh? But but again, it's just I wanted to say thanks again. You know, I just loved watching all your shows. I love, you know, thankfully there are a couple of internet games I can play. I can play Beat the Dragon every so often, and I do enjoy it. And it's all because of you, man. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Avi. I appreciate it. Thank you so yeah. much. Have a great day, man. And you too, man. <laughs>